friend. <laughs> I am so cold. It is so cold here today. Look out the window. It is raining and snowing at the same time. Ooh. I like playing in the snow. I even like playing in the rain, but today I am just so cold. And I just wish that I was on a beach in the sun and the sand and playing in the waves and making warm beach art with you. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? <sighs> hey, I have an idea. What if we used our imagination to pretend we were at the beach? to pretend we were playing in the sand and the sun and the waves and we could make warm beach art together in my studio. Do you want to? Okay, let's try it. Ready? To the studio. Welcome to the studio. Let's make a beach. Today, I'm gonna be using vinyl and aluminum containers. Now, time to fill it up. Sand, water, what else is at the beach? Let's add a few shells. Maybe some palm trees. And a beach umbrella. Ah, perfect. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear and see the ocean waves. Whoa! That was awesome to imagine. Do you want to make a sand castle with me? Let's do it. Got a little bucket and some little shovels. Get it a little wet in our ocean water. Have you ever been to the ocean? It's beautiful. It's amazing to see something so big. And then the waves come crashing in and it makes the most beautiful noise. That one's for you, and I'll make one for me. Ready? We're neighbors! I like to put flags on the top of my sand castles. A palm tree flag for me, and a palm tree flag for you. Then I'm gonna use seashells for a sidewalk. Your sidewalk is going to go right to the ocean in case you need to go fishing or catch a boat. And mine will have a shortcut right to your house in case I ever want to come visit. This beach is making me feel warmer already. <laughs> I'm gonna try to imagine that me and my whole family and you are at the beach right now. Okay, let's imagine. Are you ready? Hi, we're here on the beach. It worked. Imagining we're at the beach really worked. We're here. Well, in our imagination. Let's go put our feet in the water. It worked! We used our imagination to go to the beach. And now I think we should use that creativity to make some art. What do you think? Let's do it. This is a craft that's really easy to do. In fact, the last time Phil, Dax, and I were at the beach, we did this craft together. All you need is some sand and plaster of Paris. You don't need to be on the beach to do this. You can do this with sand from your yard or the sandbox. Whatever, it's fun either way. Let's make it. The first thing I'm gonna do is make a little bit of a dip in the sand with my hand like this. Then 
then maybe you could find a really cool shell or something at the beach. You could do this with anything though. Put that down in the middle of your sand if you want it to be on the front of your cast. Press it in a little bit because when you pour in the casting, it is going to be in liquid form, so you don't want it to swim around in there. Now, mix your plaster of Paris. Mine is three parts plaster to one part water. Once your plaster is all mixed up, gently pour it in the little space you made for your cast. did it. If you want to, at this point, you can add shells to the back of your plaster cast. I want to. And now, while it hardens, you just go play. Come on. And our plaster is dry. Now we're going to lift it out of the sand cast and see what it looks like. Whoa. <gasps> cool. Rinse the extra sand off with some water. Let it dry and you're going to have some amazing beach art. Should we try a different shape in the sand this time? Okay. What if this time we made one that was kind of spiky? I'm gonna make a big pile of sand and I'm gonna poke some holes down in it so that when I pour the plaster in, it fills up the holes and hopefully when it's dry, it'll have spikes on it. Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see that one. I have enough plaster to make another one. Let's try. Let's try to make a swirl. I'm gonna put a little shell right in the middle. Cool. The plaster is dry. Ready to see what happened when we put the plaster in our sand cast? I am. This is the spiky one we made. There's spikes. Let's rinse it off. <laughs> cool. The holes that I made in the sand turned into spikes on the plaster. It kind of looks like a turtle shell. I love it. For this one, I made a swirl in the sand. It kind of looks like a snail shell. That was so fun, making beach art with you and pretending that we were in a warm, sunny place. It's still cold here, but with our imagination, we got to pretend we were somewhere else. I wonder if it's cold where you live. Even if it's not, sometimes it can be really fun to just pretend you're somewhere else. Maybe you put out some beach towels on the floor of your house and have a picnic. Maybe you pretend you're in a jungle swinging from vines or that the floor is lava and you need to hop from place to place to place. All of those things are ways to be creative. And being creative even when we're playing helps us be creative when we're making art too. 
Wherever you are, I hope that you're having fun and I hope you're making it. See you next time. <laughs> Want to make more things together? Me too. K-Y-L-E-E. -E. That's me. Search Kylie Makes It for lots of fun art videos. Also, parents and educators, go to kyliemakesit.com. I have lots of things for you too. Like this video and subscribe.